All right then, so in the last lesson, we looked at this index component and then we previewed the site in a browser. This is the component we saw, right? So this index component is kind of like the homepage of our website and it must be named index.svelte, that's important. But we can also add another page component if we wanted to inside this folder as well. And then that would represent a different URL path or route on our website. For example, we might want to set up a page for the website, which is an about page. And we might want the path or route for that page to be forward slash about. Now to create that route and page, all we do is make a new Svelte component in the routes folder called about.svelte. And then this about component would be shown for the forward slash about path. So the route or the path that's generated will match whatever we call our Svelte component. So the name of the component is important. If we made a component called abc.svelte, it would create a route for that page component, which would be forward slash abc, the name of the component. For now, let's just create a bit of template inside this about component. So then first of all, what I'm gonna do is create a bit of a template for this component. And we don't need a script inside this component yet because we're not gonna have any dynamic variables or any additional functionality. So we'll start off with a template, which is gonna be a div and that's gonna have a class of about. And then inside that we'll have an h2, which will be the title to say about us. And then below that we'll have a paragraph tag with a load of lorem ipsum inside it. All right then, so that's the basic kind of template, something very simple. Down here we're gonna do a style tag as well, and I'm just gonna paste in this single style, very much like the style we had in the home page for the index, but this time for the about page. And by the way, these styles, they are scoped to particular components. So if I create a style inside here, then it's only going to be for this component. So if I had a div in here, for example, with a class of index, and I said hello in there, then this index class is not gonna get applied to this because the style is scoped to only elements inside this component. And SvelteKit does that by appending or prepending uh, these different random strings of numbers and letters to class names in a particular component. I'll show you that in a minute when we preview this in a browser. Let me get rid of that for now though and save it and now let's take a look. All right then, so what I'm gonna do is go to forward slash about like so and hit enter and we can see now the about us component, right? So this is working. This was the name of the component, about, and so therefore that is the URL. We get this about component when we go to that. All right then, so I wanted to show you the styles that are scoped to particular components. So let me just inspect this first of all. And we're on the about page and check this out. We have the about class that we gave to the div, but also in all of the different elements inside this component, we have this random string of letters right here. So this is something that SvelteKit applies to each of these elements inside this component. And it's specific, this class, to this particular component. If we go to the index page, let me take this off and go to the index page, then you'll notice this random class right here on all of these different elements inside the index component is different. So this class is specific for this index component, right? And then when it injects styles into our HTML page, it uses this class that it created for that component as well and it attaches it to our own class. So that scopes it to only index classes inside this particular component, all right? So that's how it scopes the CSS to only elements inside the component where we make the CSS. Now, what if we went to a route that doesn't exist? So say, for example, I go to forward slash guides. Well, we don't have a component for that, so we get this 404 error component instead. So this route does not yet exist. Now, if we wanted to create that forward slash guides route, we could create a guides.svelte component to do it, and that would work, right? But there's also another way to do it. So when we're creating routes and page components, we can also do that inside subfolders. And the name of that folder would be reflected and incorporated in the route path. For example, if I was to create a folder with the name of guides, and then inside that folder, I created a new component, and we could call that anything, it doesn't really matter, hello.svelte, then the route path for this hello component would be forward slash guides, 
forward slash hello. So the path mirrors the folder and then file name structure. So let me just add in a tiny bit of template in this file so that we can test out the route later on. So maybe just a div with some text inside it or something. All right. So what if I wanted a component for just forward slash guides? Well, all we'd have to do for that is make an index.svelte component inside the guides folder because when we have a component called index, Svelte treats that component as the root component for whatever folder it's in. So much like the index component directly inside the routes folder is the root component for the whole website, the index component inside the guides folder is the root component for forward slash guides. So to see this page component, we just visit guides or rather forward slash guides in the browser. So why choose this method of creating subfolders for routes instead of just putting all of the routes and components directly in the top level routes folder? Well, this way you can organize your different parts of the site in a more logical way, right? And you can structure your site URLs in a more logical way too. So typically I'd create a subfolder if there was going to be several different components inside that folder that uses that route structure because I might want forward slash routes and have an index for that, but also forward slash routes, forward slash some kind of slug or ID. So that component would go inside this folder as well or forward slash guides, forward slash recent to get the recent guides or something like that, okay? Anyway, let's add a bit of template inside this new guides index component. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna create a div with a class of guides, so we can style this in a second. And then inside here, we'll just have a UL, and each LI tag in here is eventually gonna be some kind of guide title, right? So let's do an LI tag, and then inside that, an anchor tag. Now, at the minute, we'll just say to forward slash the root of the website, but later on, we'll add in the proper href attributes. So the idea being when we click on a guide title, we're eventually going to go to the details page of a particular guide. So I'm just going to call this guide one to be super creative and then do another one, which I'll call guide two. All right. So that'll do dead simple template. Now down here, I'm going to do a style tag as well, just so we can style this up a little bit. And I'm going to paste in a few different styles. So first of all, we target the guides and we give that a margin top of 20 pixels, then the UL. We say list style type none, padding zero, then the anchor tags inside the UL. We say display inline block, margin top 10 pixels, padding 10 pixels, and a border as well, which is this kind of semi-transparent gray color. All right then, so let's see if this works in the browser. And now in the browser, if I go to forward slash guides, like so, and press enter, we see this new guides page. Awesome, so that's working. So, you know, like these were links and they both went to just forward slash. Well, that is the root of the website, right? It should be this page right here. So if I click on one of these links, we should just get directed to that root page, that index page of the whole site. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on this and yep, I get rerouted to this welcome page. Same for guide two. Click on that and we see this web page again. Now, when we're doing this, when we're clicking around the website using links on the website, we're not actually sending a request to the server for a new HTML page. What happens is SvelteKit intercepts that request and it says, okay, where do you want to go? It looks at the link where we're heading to and it says, you want to go to the homepage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this component from the page and instead mount this component and it just switches out the components for us, the page components. And that's why it's really quick to go from one page to another. If I click on this, all right, it pops in instantly. Cool. So let's add a few more links then. All right. So I'm going to open up the root index file right here. And at the bottom of the template, I'm just going to paste in a couple of links. So one to forward slash guides, which is going to show us that guides page right here, this index component inside the guides folder, then a link to forward slash about, which is going to show us the about component. Now I'm going to do something similar on the about page at the bottom as well. So we have one to forward slash guides, and then this one, one to just forward slash, and we'll say, oops, home on there. So that takes us back to the home component, this index one. All right. So we have those links now. Let's see if this all works. All right, so if we click on the about link, we see the about component, we can go back home as well. We can click on view guides and we can click on one of these to go back home. Awesome, so this is really quick. Now we can 
quickly navigate to one page from another and it's pretty much instantaneous because Svelkit just handles all of the routing on the front end. And by the way, I just want to show you that we can view that hello component by going to forward slash guides forward slash hello that was the url structure right because we had the hello component inside the guides folder if i press enter on this we see the hello component awesome